Greetings one and all. Welcome back to my kitchen here today where I thought I might as well add to my um, steak and steak sauce sort of, oh, I guess you can call it a series in so much as I've done um, peppercorn sauce before with steak. I've done uh, a really nice steak Diane recipe before with steak. So today I'm going to add to that um, you can't really do those two without adding to your repertoire a really nice mushroom, homemade mushroom sauce. So I've already cooked my steak in the usual way. I've shown you that before, just in plenty of butter, um, a big sprig of thyme, a couple of sprigs of thyme, a crushed sort of semi-smashed clove of garlic. And just, um, yeah, and it's just resting away. So, let's make them, while that's resting, I'll make our mushroom sauce. So in here I've got 200 grams of sliced mushroom, and I'm putting that into my small little fry pan that's got a couple of tablespoons of butter that I've just melted. On they go. Just cook them down a little bit. Now, once they start cooking down, which isn't taking long, I'm going to add. I've got two grated cloves of garlic, and I've got a good tablespoon of just thyme leaves. I've picked most of the stalk off them. So we'll just mix them there. This is a really easy, quick sauce, nothing too complicated about it. Yum, smell that thyme and garlic. Smells delicious, alright. I've got two tablespoons of brandy. I've got a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I've got half a cup of chicken stock. And that's just um, commercially purchased chicken stock. Which will stop it simmering, so just get it back up to a, to a boil and a simmer. Now once that stock's evaporated down a little bit, I'm going to add one cup of cooking cream. And we'll stir that through and again we'll get that up to a simmer. Alrighty guys, it's about five minutes later. I've just been simmering this uh, sauce away. It's starting to thicken up and um, yeah, looking good. So it's just about ready. Now the last thing I'm going to add to mine, just to give it that even better consistency and just a little bit of saltiness and taste profile, is I've got two tablespoons of parmesan cheese. I'm going to sprinkle that in. And we're going to stir that through. And once that's incorporated and fully mixed into our creamy sauce, I'm going to take that off the heat and call it done.
Alrighty guys, so as you saw I've served up some sauce on my piece of steak here um, Looking nice and creamy Of course you just cook that steak to the way you want it um, so This video is all about the sauce So what I'll do is I'll get a bit of steak Like so, so I've just got a rare bit And I'll get some of that mushroom and creamy sauce that's on it and kind of um, yeah do it like so you get the picture anyway I'm gonna taste it Yummo. And that is done and dusted. Simple as that. Just an absolutely delicious mushroom sauce. Creamy. Yummy. Just delicious. <laughs> um, I don't know. You won't get much better in a bistro or anything like that. Or you might, but you'd be lucky. Take and pop luck. Make it yourself. And you know you're going to get something good. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. Really, really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, can I just ask that you hit that subscription button. Hit that little notification bell. It'll let you know when I upload videos. I'm a shift worker, so I don't have a fixed schedule for releasing video videos. Try to do two a week uh, in between my shifts, but that bell will let you know when they're uploaded. Alrighty. I will see you all next time.